Right, small video for start of the day. It's uh, Friday the... Oh, it's Friday the 13th, oh my goodness. Let's hope it's a good one. <laughs> Friday the 13th, right. I'm off on my walk towards Colbone. Um, at the moment I've just got to get to a, the Weir, Porlock Weir, there's a signpost. Um, I didn't know about this little route before when I was here. I did know about it, but I hadn't found it. So this is a nice start for the day. I got up about 7 o'clock-ish, got ready straight away. Although I ached a bit and thought, oh no, because I did a six-hour walk yesterday high up in the hills in the woods to St. Piero Church. <sighs> there you can see the where the sea's been in. You can see more of the water, how it spreads about. Over there. I'll be up there tomorrow. I'll be coming back down that hill tomorrow. Today is supposed to be not a bad day. This is something called Coombe Orchard. Cared for by the people of Porlock Village. <sighs> yeah, I'm doing a different walk. Uh, of course, when I mention Colbone or anything else that people always think oh I wouldn't do that you know and I think oh why not <laughs> probably going to be up and down and I feel a bit groggy at the moment I do feel a bit groggy but I'll be all right I'll wake up but I did do a massive walk um this is the thing when you're trying to when you and you've got a short periods where you can stay somewhere and you try to pack it all in in one go whereas if you were here for a fortnight or a week even you could do a big walk one day have a bit of a break perhaps visit some museums or something you know oh, this is rather pleasant isn't it very pleasant indeed So I'll just do it in a bit because I'm very short on um, memory card and I can't afford to buy another one. I don't like my, the laptop. It doesn't seem very good at unloading. Probably. And you'd lose something, so... Oh, another great view, look. Some lovely houses around here. Look at that little cottagey place. Looks like it's made of wood. There we go. And quite often I've walked up over on the marshes. That's how I might walk back that way tonight. That's, I probably will. A poor lot where I was right over there. I'll just zoom in just to show how far I've got to go. There's a the harbour there, a little sailing ship in there. <sighs> the buses don't run very frequently, they stop in the evening, which I always think is a shame, in a way, because um, <clears throat> if you're out on a long hike, you might not always get back for that last bus, and then you've got to do an extra walk after you've been out for six hours, you know. I know people, other people got picked up and all that but uh, when you haven't got that facility it would be nice if they kept the buses on in the summer to about 8 o'clock I reckon so this is just an introduction at the moment to the start of this day which is Friday the 13th by the way so lucky for some. It's not supposed to rain. I haven't brought the umbrella today. I'm slightly lighter today. <sighs> Still got to carry water. So the, as you can see it's quite a way to go yet. So I'm going to turn off now and um, come back on a bit later. I've got to take photographs when it's 
and I can see again the views over and out. Very, very small video because I videoed a lot of this before, all the way to Colbone Church. <coughs> I videoed last year. So, because I'm short on memory cards, I've arrived at Porlock Weir. It's, it's cooler than yesterday actually, but it's, there's no sign of rain as such. I've taken a few photographs. I will take the odd photo. And I'll probably take the odd photo just of the church when I get there again and go inside that. Then I'm going to go and explore a bit further. So, basically this is where we go. This is the pathway. Hard to undo. Oh no, I have to turn off. Right, come back on again. I had to climb over that gate. It was really awkward. Probably have to lift it up and then do that hook, I expect. Well, I climbed over it in the end, but that was awkward. So what I was saying, this is just an introduction to Friday the 13th. I have done um, more in... Uh, on a walk I did from Porlock, a little track I followed, which I hadn't done, most of it I hadn't done before. Um, <coughs> I'm a bit wheezy, I haven't really <coughs> got my breath yet, I might have to have the inhaler as well. It will clear up. Um, don't forget, I'm, I've got allergies to grass and stuff, it's like, and, uh, and I'm a country girl, you know, so... Anyway... This one of the hills you see when you look over at Porlock. And there's lots more lumps and humps and bumps. There's another way up you can come. We just further along. You can come up through there, okay? I think I went down that way last time. And I had a tea and cake. It's quite blowy today. I didn't bring a jumper. I've got a windshield. I didn't bring any waterproof. Yesterday I brought um, leggings, umbrella, a uh, waterproof coat, no jumper. I'm trying to... They're, set, they're told us we're having an Indian summer. It's going to be hot. It's mainly tomorrow and Sunday, I think. <coughs> but I don't actually mind it being a bit cooler. Not for when you're walking. This suits me. I did bring a hat and I brought the walking stick which can sometimes be a pain but it's also useful for certain terrain. <laughs> that, that rhymed, didn't it? So when I get to the next gate I'm going to turn off and I won't be coming on again till I get to Colbone Church um, when I'm going to explore the other side of it. <sighs> How far I go will depend on how I feel a bit later on. My legs are starting to be all right now. They were feeling a little bit tired, but I literally got out of bed really and started walking. So, yeah, I've walked all around there. I've done all the marsh walk. You know, I'm covering more and more ground each time. So here we go, folks. I'm gonna turn off here. This is Sheila. It's about half nine in the morning on the 13th of September. Over and out. <laughs>